morning guys, I hope you can see me. So it is 5, 5.35 in the morning and my husband's is just going to work right now and I'm going to be watching the Shemitic Day Meet um, vlog, um, which I do like her vlogs, they're really, they're really like good. And um, you know, I'm just doing that and then today I've got a to do a recording oh my god I've got loads of films to, uh, videos to record for you guys I'm doing a makeup tutorial and then I'm doing a what else is it then I'm doing a nighttime routine so that will be good hopefully it'll be really really good I just need to you know, set it up and everything so yeah hopefully that'll be really good I hope and then do my morning routine round about I don't know, Tuesday or Wednesday. Something like that. See you guys. I stopped doing that in here. So guys, I'm actually out of bed. I need, I'm so hungry. But I need my tablets because I haven't had my tablets yet. Oh, and I haven't had my tablets yet. Oh my God, look at that. Kitchen's so clean and so tidy. Oh, that one looks a mess. I could try it though. So I might make some pancakes for myself just because I want to make some pancakes. I don't normally make pancakes. I only, I know, I don't, I normally make natural Stephanie's pancakes, but I've got no bananas, so I have to make some pancakes on my own. Uh, it's so hard not to do it. But I don't think I want pancakes. Pancakes. It's the pan. I do know what I want some almond milk to basically have some almond milk in my cup of coffee. Um, I'm normally a coffee girl. I love my cup of coffee. But uh, this, but I haven't had so much coffee for ages. So I'm just filling up my kettle, which I kind of like my kettle. It kind of it is a really good. I'll show you it. It's a Morphe Riches one. And it's just like that. We got this and we wanted to get um, a kettle just because our other kettle, another other kettle, a kettle, a kettle was, you know, it was alright. But I'm using my cups. I don't know what it is. I have no idea what it is. But, you know, I might have like, I know it's like uh, 11 o'clock now. You saw me like at half five in the morning. So, People probably were like, why are you filming the half five and you just film the later? But you know, to each his own. So I got my glass. These glasses I got from Sainsbury's in the UK, if you're wondering, I got from Sainsbury's. Um, just because they're, you know, a nice colour to do. And I love my almond milk. I always get unsweetened almond milk just because I love almond milk, but I always want to get unsweetened just because of, you know, something that, you know just because I'd like to get unsweetened and I like unsweetened so much so I'm using my coffee from Doubt Edwards love this stuff as well this is the heat but it's a hazelnut one I normally have the caramel I normally have the caramel one I like that caramel one's just right here smooth caramel so nice but I thought I'd have a friend's hazelnut today and you can hear that as my kettle boiling but I need to have something to eat it man I'm going to have a pancakes, which might as well just do. Put some pancakes, which is a really good. So I always use a cup of flour. No, just to get the pancakes all. Okay. So this is my flour that I use. Just flour. Just some normal flour that I use. I'm going to put, oh, I'm going to put a cup of flour in them. Resemble a cup, it is a cup, it might not resemble a cup because it isn't. So, as you can see, I just got the flour and just pour the flour in there. That is it. And then I'm gonna grab some water, so I use a cup of oh god, Woo! see, just got the cup of water and add that to the bowl or half a cup. I think it's just a cup of water that I need. And then I'm gonna put the flour away. And I put it that way, I might put in a little bit of. Extract. I might go with some, no, I'm going to go with some almond. 
Oh, that smells really strong. So I'm going to use like two tablespoons, two teaspoons of almond flavour. You don't have to use that if you don't want to, but I want to because I like it. And then I'm just going to put in some oil, just like a teaspoon of or a tablespoon of oil. I'm going to just put some oil in. That's enough for me. That's enough oil for me. And then I'm going to, because I want them a bit fluffy as well, the reason I want them a bit fluffy is because I need and want them a bit fluffy because I love, I like it's a fluffiness. It's good fluffy pancakes are gorgeous. Oh my god. No. And I'm going to put like, um, just half a tablespoon, teaspoon in them. I'm just going to stir my fucking stomach for one. My hands, my hands. Oh, it's very gross. I think it's from like, the flavouring for some reason. And oh, it's going to basically. What else do I want? I need to get some almond, ground almond in there just to, you know, put a little bit in there. So there we go. And then I'm going to grab a whisk, which is just a whisk. I'm just gonna whisk it up. So you can see, just whisk it up and it make a pancake batter, a very nice pancake batter. So I'm just gonna whisk it till it's nice and smooth. Whisk it till it's nice and smooth. Oh, the almond is actually coming through. Oh my God, the almond smells nice. You will be able to taste the almond. The reason I put like bacon powder in them is because, um, you know, just like to have a bit of fluffiness to my pancakes. These are vegan pancakes and no milk has gone into them. No no eggs. These are just plain vegan pancakes. But this my almond oh my god. So oh shit. Almost spilt it. Just really nice and runny and liquidy and really like it, it is runny but it's still like thick so you can see I'm gonna show you. So you see the um Form, it still has its form in there a little bit, so that's all you do. So one cup of flour, one cup of water, one tablespoon of oil. If you want to add flavourings, you go for it, but if you don't, that's all you use. Let me make this consistent. I've got like almond grounds and look at that, it just still holds its form. But it smells delicious. I can really smell that almond, so I'm just going to shake thing some more. Hopefully you can see the pancakes is once it's hot, I put it there, and then I leave it there to like kind of go so it acts like this. You can flap it around, which is another day, but this is like a, you know, a good thing. And then you have to wait until it's done. So basically you have to wait until it creates bubbles on top. So I'm gonna show you it. So this is what it is. This pan is really dirty. It's not dirty, it's just really stained. So you need to wait until you see these bubbles applying. So make sure you wait until you see bubbles. So I'm waiting a bit longer. Turn up the heat a little bit more. So I'm just waiting until, and when you lay it out, you don't have to spread it around because it actually spreads out itself. So you can see the, you're probably going to see the pancake. If you hear it, that's the pancake cooking. Vlog and never recipe, never done this before. And I'm waiting till it like gets all nice and thingy. Still not done because it's still a little bit thingy on the bottom. So you can see it's just gonna spit in now. And I'll wait till half of it's done on top and then I flip it. See it just slides over, so you know when it's done it just slides. So I'm not going to do it right now because it's still a little bit, you know, not brown enough. Some of these might look a little bit ane anemic, but they're, they're really done. It's just because of the almond essence that I put in there, it won't show up as really not really brown. So I'm 
until it's like kind of done and then I'm just going to turn it. It does look a little bit unique, but it's just because of the flavouring that I put in there. It is a little bit brown, as you can see, has a little bit of brownage. So I'm going to come back when this is all done. So guys, these are my pancakes and I'm going to add some maple syrup on them. If I can undo the maple syrup, there we go. So here we go, I'm going to put on some maple syrup. so good maple syrup and I'm gonna add something else which I don't normally do but I thought I'd do today which is always something really odd I'm gonna add some vegan butter to it so this is it this is my pancakes with maple syrup and vegan butter it's like McDonald's pancakes but they're not because McDonald's pancakes are American style but as you can see I put it in the light a bit more these are my pancakes these are vegan the butter's vegan and the maple syrup's vegan so yeah this is everything so guys i do hope you enjoy this little one in the vlog if you do want to see more things like this please let me know and i'll i'll do them for you guys if you like i do them for you guys um please let me know and i will do that for you just in case you want to see something different from this vlog like if you're bored of seeing something that i do every day just let me know if you'd like to see these like recipe ones if you want to see like proper recipes i'll do them on my channel as well you just have to let me know. But yeah, I'm going to have some to eat now. Guys, I'm sitting down at my table and I'm going to eat my vegan pancakes and drink my coffee. And then I'm just going to watch some friends. And then, yeah, and then sort of have some washing as well. But yeah, it's going to be look so good. Uh, the, the things behind me is no longer there because I've already put it away. But yeah, let's enjoy my vegan pancakes. I've already, I've already dug into it, but I'm going to have a bite with you guys. So vegan butter, maple syrup, almond pancakes, which is all vegan. So let's try Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. Mmm. It's so good, guys. I leave all the ingredients down below in this vlog. Just in case you want to make it yourself. Oh god, that maple syrup is so good, though. Mm. I love maple syrup. Mmm. See, this is what I've got. Look at that, guys so good so if you want to yeah i'll leave the green down below and hopefully you will enjoy making this as much as i did really good guys okay, so i finished my breakfast <laughs> i just cleaned the plate it's 11 42 and about 12 o'clock i'm having lunch i don't know what i'm having i'm asking this but i'm not quite sure and you know basically you know do that so yeah, um, that Wednesday I'm going to have to get down to find someone up, which is really something I don't want to do, you know, but I'm going to have to. I'm going to watch more YouTube and then, you know, see everything and then record a video for tomorrow, which will be a makeup tutorial on a look that I have been loving, had it been wearing on camera for you guys because um, I want to get people to see this look first or I always wear it when I'm not filming and then I take the makeup off and then you know that's all but a time has come for me to um, kind of show the makeup that I'm loving it is like a purpley kind of bluey pinky colour which I absolutely love and that would be all for now but yeah let's see where I go from there Guys, I finished on the lap on my Mac, and I've actually finished the look, which is really, really good. Hang on, I'm just sort of my hair. I don't know why I'm taking that, just because um, I don't know why. But I'm watching Friends. I might have to change it because it might be the last one, you know. But oh, I love Friends. I love binge watching Friends. I was going to watch football today, but it's not on Sky Sports, which is really annoying. I hate it when it's not on Sky Sports. I'm like, why are you not on Sky Sports? You should be on Sky Sports. Oh, I might have to change this. Let's see. I'm gonna have to change it. Oh my god. That's what I hate when it happens. I have to change stuff. I might have to change the disc either, but if not, I have to change the disc. The actual disc. <gasps> Thank gold for that. I just had to change the disc over. So on my channel, I'm gonna be doing reviews and, and, and everything. Oh, whoa. 
and dead three. I'm going to be doing uh, reviews on makeup and everything because I feel like I've been using makeup but I haven't been giving reviews on it so I want to do reviews on my makeup that I've got so that would be good for you to to see what works with you and see if they're any good for you know just to get everything sorted I do want to do that and reviews on the products as well so yeah I'm just watching for you Season two, love it. I love like uh, season one, two, season three or four, just because um Ross and Rachel. I love Ross and Rachel's couple. It's so good. But yeah, it's good. Hi ah, guys. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> it is. What time and is it? How started it? You know that, right? So I'm not allowed to say hey guys. You can. It's five forty-six. Okay. It is five forty-six in the afternoon. I'm home from work. Mm. Um. I've had a bath, I'm all mm. clean, I've had a hair wash, I know, needs a cut, mm. that'll be next month. Um, I'm about to sit down and play some games, we've just finished watching I'll a bit of Friends. Your hair's a little bit... I know, it's always like that after a bath. <laughs> it's so funny in the camera, it's like you're not, you, it looks like your hair is on you, but it's not, <laughs> it's where your hair so light and you can see the actual scalp of your, um, <laughs> That's the person who's currently laughing at me. Hey. Yeah, she's been mean and laughing. You should look at yourself because when you have like your hair, you know, you can see your scalp, and it looks like your scalp is there, and your hair is what? Yeah. You know. Okay. Um, I've got. I've got lunch in the oven, but it it's could turn lunch, into dinner. dinner. Somewhere in the middle, because I'll probably have something later. Um, I'm also going to make some more mince pies, if you saw my, the start, the vlog I started on, let's see, yesterday was Saturday, Friday. Monday, um, Monday, I could be a, uh, I could be a bit really, really late though. Okay. Because I'm going to edit some vlogs and then. Okay. Um, if you see, saw so that one, I did make pancakes, uh, not pancakes, I make pancakes <laughs> every day. I made mince pies. I'm going to make some more today. Do later. Um, currently having a scotch on the rocks. <laughs> what are you having? Irish cream on the rocks. It's not mm. vegan. I know. But I fancy having it. We've got to use up the Irish cream and I ain't going to drink it because... You don't like Irish cream. I hate coffee. He only, he only has it if it's in, incorporated with the alien stuff. Yeah. Yeah, he'll only drink Irish cream if it's incorporated into a shot and he can drink it all at once. But no yeah. one else wanna drink that. I don't want his roommate to drink it, so that goes just for me, Daniel, so I have to kinda of finish it off, but it, it's quite nice with the it on the ice. But yeah, um we'll check in with you guys later. So guys, Charlene's just made dinner. No, those are not chicken breasts, they are pancakes. Well, I'm looking at the camera and they look a little bit like chicken breast. They don't. Like sliced chicken breast. They don't. Definitely. Seriously. Look at the way I've got them laid out. And you got that in your Really? And show them yours? Oh, I've already started digging into mine. Show them yours. Yeah, I had the same for, the, for breakfast, but these ones are strawberry. I'm fucking hell, can even taste a strawberry? This tastes really good. Mm. But yeah, he's paying FIFA. And we're gonna. This is our, our dinner. Mm. It's our dinner, really. Can't think of anything else, though. Except pancakes. Hi, guys. So it's. What time did you say it was? I don't know. 8.40. It's 8.40. Um, we've just finished watching Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. episode 20. Oh, shit. Um, what are you going? Phones up! It wasn't fucking happy! Why did they put it on the floor? I told you not to put the pillow on the floor. Okay, apparently the episode wasn't happy. I, I thought there was happy moments in there. Oh, I'm gonna kill you for making me. There, there was probably. I didn't make you watch it, you put it on. Uh, he wants to go. Oh, he wants to watch it. See if it's I said, fun. I said watch something. So, yeah. Can you, Can you shut the wig? I can't. Yeah, we'll do. So we're going to end the vlog here, because um, I've got work in the morning early and you're going to gym early? Yeah, 
Should do, yeah, should do. If not, you're going before I go to work. You mean after? After. Yeah. Okay, so make sure you like, subscribe, um, comment down below. Have you watched episode 20 yet? Are you looking forward to episode 21? Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> morning, guys. Oh, God, it's still the morning. I think that was just half past five. I, I don't know if Danny started the vlog, so if he has been on before. But I'm just watching Friends. Well, Ross and Richie, you know, that you know, and um, I can't wait for Thursday or Friday because me and Danny are going shopping in the shopping, which I'm really excited for. I had something to eat, I had something to eat for breakfast, I had a smoothie drink, but I want something more. I want something more. I want something more. Ugh. But I know, probably for lunch I'll probably have some chips. You know, I don't know though. Probably have some chips, but I'm not quite sure. So yeah. I'm gonna check my emails and, you know, just uh, watch friends and go to the gym. Literally, I can't wait. Okay, then you, you won't see him. So, downtime. And we have yeah. our drinks. Mine's a little bit fuller because it's Bailey's and mine's a little bit thingy because it's whiskey. Mmm. Hey guys, I'm currently cutting up chips at the moment. I think they can see that, Daniel. Yeah, but they might not be wondering, they might be wondering what I'm doing with the chips. Um, so when I have chips, because I'm having chips on my own plate, I'm going to have some barbecue sauce with it. Where'd you put my barbecue sauce? I'll show you the barbecue sauce, it's vegan. Um, I am still vegan, but I still have to finish the Baileys and I did have some meat today. So technically I'm beginning to transition into it. And this is hot and spicy barbecue and it is vegan and it tastes so good. It reminds me of the McDonald's hot and uh, spiky barbecue. It does because it smells just like that and it tastes really good. Are you going to tell them that you're going to try and make your own, you know what? Yeah, I'm, yeah I'm going to try and make my own vegan bellies put on my main channel. And see what it's like. And I just need to get some James and some whiskey. I don't need Jameson. Well, I want Jameson to follow the recipe exactly. I know, I know, I know. But you could put your own spin on it and use no. co-op or... No, I want Jameson's. Uh, no, I want Jameson's. Okay, we'll get Jameson's, okay? And then, Wednesday and Thursday should be something to do. I don't know. But we've got these vouchers, which I'm going to have to get rid of because there's loads in here. We have all of these. And literally we, okay, there's not loads, there's only two in here, but they run out on the 30th of July. No, June, I believe. I think you said June. Yeah, 30th of June. And it gets one free adult, but we can't go to... We can't go on the, we can't go at the London Eye Dye because that was only until the 17th of May. May 2000, no, 27th of May 2000. And 16, so we can't go there. But if they, but if they are doing these again, I'll probably get Daniel to get some more. Yeah, they always do. They always do, especially towards the summer. I still want to go. I'd love to go to. Where do I want to go? Probably Legoland because Star Wars is there. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that smile when I mentioned Legoland. That's okay. You want to know where to go when Star Wars is out in full force? Back or off, I'm not going to go away, you want to go to America? Yeah. Disneyland, baby. That's where you must go to Japan as well, because or because it's all you can eat KFC. Actually, I want to go to Japan because I've never been. Mm. I don't want to start traveling the world at some point. We won't have to do that if we have kids. Oh. I'm not traveling, I'm not going to be on the go with a newborn traveling the world. It's just going to be too much. Oh no, of course. Like, we can, if we go with, when they're growing up a little bit, like... The trouble is, if I did get my passport five. this year, and I wasn't pregnant, and you got your passport this year or next year, all you have to do is renew yours. Yeah. We could go somewhere next year. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Okay, fine. I'll have to get someone to sign it. So I might get my friend Jane to sign it, because she's actually worked with me. She's not the only one. You actually found me, dipshit. 
You're my husband, you can't sign it. Yeah, but I actually worked with you. So has um, uh, Jane, Wendy's mum, and Wendy and Jane have both worked with me. Yeah, so they worked with me when I was younger. Yeah, I worked with you while you were older. I've known him longer. Hmm? I've known him longer. Okay. But I've just done washing up because I want to make sure I get all washing up done. I left it, I didn't do it today, and I left it yesterday, and I didn't really like to leave it, but... Well, it wasn't much, though. But I don't like it now. I know. <coughs> I'm going to have a bit more thingy. I need to use this up. Because Dad's not going to drink it. Okay, Dan, it's all gone now, okay? Okay, can you, uh, can you just pass that out? No. I've still got one thing out. Um, Dan, look, look, look behind you. That's it, look behind you. The cup! Hey, you filled it up? Yeah, that's all there was in there. There's nothing else in there. So if you want some more Irish, Irish cream, go up and get some yourself, okay? Okay. Those are done enough, done enough for you, yeah? No, more than that. You want them more, yeah? No, yeah, they're enough, yeah. The, the cover is enough. I thought you meant that's all I'm getting. No, 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 trust me, I'm doing more than that for you. I also doing more than that for me. Gonna let it sit there and climb the nurse this one because Irish cream is all gone. I'm quite, kind of glad because then um, I don't have to keep finishing it. And then you can make your own vegan one. Yeah, which I'm gonna be really excited to make because I never made a vegan Bailey's and I think it's gonna be exciting. Well, you know, have you made a vegan drink that's You haven't made a vegan alcoholic drink yet. I have its arches and coke. That wasn't already vegan. Like make a vegan version of a drink. No, I've never done it before. I've never there done any of this vegan stuff before, so it'll be a challenge for me to actually... I want to make a, a vegan Big Mac as well. Comment down below, what vegan drink, alcoholic, do you want Charlene to make after she's made Bailey's? I do want to kind of do like a, a vegan style of a Big Mac. Yeah, go for it. It's nice and easy. You'd think so, but it's not. I have to add loads of spices in. Mmm. I'm gonna let that sit there. Oh, chippies! Yes, that plate is yours. Are they still hot? Uh, yeah. Okay, then I'll wait a minute. Oh, thank you. There's arches in it, but there's not that much arches. Like a little thing, so I might have that. But we still have Jägerm. Oh god, we still have the Jägermeister down. Look how much there is. It's like quarter. It's half. That's not half. Okay, whatever. Oh god, we still have tequila. Whiskey. Do we, is there anything in this? Oh, white rum, a, a tiny bit, and the port that we don't like. Oh, sweetie. Yeah? Wednesday I am going to take a walk into Frimley. Do I? Because uh, I want to walk in, walk down to that academy show face to face. Mm-hmm. And negotiate around the door. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to now. So guys, I'm going to end the vlog right here. Please give that a like and subscribe if you have enjoyed it today. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye, guys. Morning guys, so me and I have pancakes, um, but I'm going to tell you something, I was sitting in here eating my pancakes, <laughs> I hear Daniel go, ah oh, fuck, you know, really like in pain, I run in, he's put oil in a frying pan and he's put the pancake in, he goes to swirl it around, do ya? Swirl it around, yeah. He swirls it around and then oil goes on the floor and on his foot. And he had that. No, he's got that. That is basically, um, from far away it doesn't look that bad. But he did that. And we had a graze box as well. It was good. It had hot crush yum and 
lemon flapjack and salt and salt vinegar. Salt and vinegar, almonds and bruschetta. And some olives. I didn't have the olives. Yeah. Do you feel like an idiot, do you, for doing that? I do, but I feel better for having a Grace box. Hashtag thank you, Grace. Hi guys, welcome back. And it is so sunny out there. I don't know if it's any warm because I'd love it to be warm. But let me just check if it's warm out there because if it's, it's going to be good. Let's feel. Oh, holy crap, it's warm out here. If I actually warm out here, I could eat my lunch out here. Which is actually kind of cool. It's actually really nice and warm out here. On this floor, it's really nice and really, really warm. So. I the uh, I've got makeup on now. I had to do this makeup look for tomorrow, which is the Wednesday. And it's a festival makeup look because it's nice, bright, and you're like colourful. So you don't have to follow this bar, but you can if you want to. And then Thursday, I need to film a Wednesday or Thursday. I need to film a nighttime routine. And then that'd be up Friday or Monday. Hopefully Friday. I should just I should be knackered to do that. But tomorrow, I'm going to the gym at last. I'm actually going to the gym tomorrow. And then my husband needs to do me a favour. And then on a Thursday, go food shopping. I'm probably going to Brendan as well. Because he wants to go to games workshop. And I'll probably just go, you know, to thing. Home. So guys, I'm going to end the vlog right here. You probably can't see me or Daniel that well. But yeah, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Good morning, guys. I'm just watching Vegan Aesthetics live. As you can see, it's live. And I'm watching Steph. Um, and I like watching Vegan Aesthetics live. It's really good. It's really, you know, enjoyable. Hi, guys. So it's just coming up to half past eight. We're going to end the vlog here. Have you had a good day? No. You're not even pointing the camera at me. Actually, I am. Oh, okay. oh, yeah. No. On the whole. Okay, it's not been a great day, but tomorrow will be a much better day. Yeah. It will. So, yeah, make sure you like, subscribe, thumbs up, comment. Do you have a bad day? Good morning, guys. You're just watching Sam. Star Wars Epic Rack Battles of uh, uh, Star Wars Epic Rack Battles. Uh, we're on episode four. It's really good, and it's all about stars, and they wrap each other, wrap each other, wrap each other. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, and we're just gonna go. Out. Okay, sorry, we haven't been filming a lot this day, but we went to Reading, and look at all the bits I have got. Plus, I got this as well. It looks so beautiful. That's that. Look at this. But yeah, I recorded as well a video. So hopefully you guys would like that part. Oh my god. I love everything I bought. I love these shoes as well. These shoes look so beautiful. And these look fantastic. Look at them. They look so beautiful. But yeah, that's what I got. So guys, I ended up filming two videos upstairs. Oh, one you just have to wait and see what it is. But, um... Daniel's on his phone. No, sorry. Just... But the, the first film we're watching is Fantastic Beasts. Where to find them, but it's still loading. Look, look, it's still loading. Damn. Would you like me to pop it out and pop it back in? Yeah, you might have to clean it as well. But it's known. You're gonna have to sort it out over there. I think the DVD player stopped. Probably. Go ahead. You said you're going to. Okay. And Daniel's got another drink. He's got you on the rocks, which is basically whiskey and ice. But yeah, um, but tomorrow I'm getting some bits for tomorrow from a, is it not actually thing in there? Yeah, it's on. Look at it, on. So, so yeah, watching that. And then afterwards, we're actually watching a funny film, which is Why Him? I'm actually watching this. And he's getting the uh, like, digital download for Fantastic Beasts Why to Find It. I'm getting digital download for Why Him. And tomorrow I'm going to the gym. Yeah. In the early morning. Yeah. Fucking hell, you have to play. But yeah, we're gonna watch this now and he's gonna have his drink. Anything else you want like to say? Um can I have your crisps. Yeah, of course you can. They're uh, over there. Never mind.
I'll go get Why'd you put him over there? You got DVD remote. I'll go get you Chris. I don't have the DVD remote. You have the DVD remote. You put it where I was sitting. Oh, there is something I want to say. What's that? Spr I made a model yesterday and I sprayed it black today. It's called a shade. The light's in the way. They get much better. So this is his little model. I actually, he actually did some of the round bit, then I finished it, and I think uh, his friends like it now. You like it, don't you, baby? Yeah. So this is it. Looks really cool. I actually had to smooth it down with water. If you ever use green stuff and you're into that sort of thing, use some water to smooth it down, otherwise you get fingerprints in there. Like, don't use that much water, but use some water, you know? And yeah. So <laughs> we've seen... We've seen, what's that? We've seen. Oh, Even says the copyright material. So guys, we've seen the Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. Let me just pause this. And we're now watching Why Him? What did you think of the film, Daniel? It was a good film. Probably not as good as most of the Harry Potter films, but probably better than some of their worst ones. So in the middle, I'd say. I enjoyed it. There was a bit of bits like when you go, oh, OMG, and like, oh, what the hell? And things that you go, oh, that's so sweet, and oh my god. But yeah, it was good. Guys, if you watched Why Him, just, um, just super creepy. Just super creepy. Oh my god, it's, it's 8 o'clock. Okay guys, we'll be up till about between 10 and 11 because oh, that's when our shopping's going to be there from Sainsbury's. But yeah. So guys, we're going to end the vlog. We've just finished Why Him and we had our Sainsbury's delivery early, which is really good. And yeah, like a half hour. 40 minutes early. Are you complaining? Fuck no. Okay, so what do you think of Why Him? It was weird in all the right ways. Not nearly as weird as Sausage Party. That was fucked up. That 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 was off the rails. This, yeah. This was fucked was it, up on the rails. Was it funny? Yeah. It it was uh, it was funny, but it was. This... Hmm. I can't. So I can't. I don't know what I'm saying. Comment down below if you want us to review the film. And so yeah, we're gonna say good night and see you tomorrow. Bye guys. Bye guys. Oh yeah, and like subscribe. Morning guys, it is Friday. I can't believe it's a Friday, it's almost the weekend. And I'm gonna make myself a porridge. We had a big shop yesterday and it was alright, yeah. I'm just wearing some earrings, I don't normally wear earrings, I'm wearing some hoops and some pearls. Find them from Primark. And see, went shopping. So I need some blueberries. I have some blueberries, I need some blueberries. Because it's a blueberry and peach oat my pizza are right over there. What can I put you? You probably won't be able to see me as much. No, um, I always put you there. That's like the best place for it. Um, picture here? I don't know. Uh, I'll be back. So, I'm making, get the bags out of the way, get them out of the way, a blueberry peach, peach oat. My husband with all his seeds. My husband has a lot of seeds and he likes planting, a lot of seeds, and it's a lot of seeds to have. I love my husband very much but he just has a lot of seeds. I'll show you the pack when I finish with them because they're just all over the place. A seed bag. Okay, so I need my, oh Lord, my weighing scales which I got these ones, I got these ones right here, probably got in Argos or in So I need to have some oats and sweet and milk, some cinnamon for the next extract. Almond butter. I have almond butter. Oh, it's almond butter. So guys, I have finished one of my videos and I have actually done a video and I've done something a little bit differently. I've had I've actually done something a little bit differently. I hope you do like it. It's something that I've never done before and I hopefully do like it. I've done it on my iMovie and I've wanted to do this for ages but I thought to myself, yeah, that's fine. But I need to get some new bits anyway for 
for my filming as well. I need to get a microphone, I need to get a lighting, and I need to get a new camera just because my camera's okay. I just, just want a new camera. Tonight, if my husband's not working early tonight, I do know that I just need to edit some vlogs and get them up. It's going to be something like, I, it's going to be so hard for me to do, but oh, it's going to be so weird. This is it's going to be really weird, but you know, it's, it has to be done. Oh, it's going to be so weird. But I know that I'm going to enjoy everything. And then for lunch, I'm going to have two, we're going to have two wraps and make double of it. So it's going to be fine. It's going to make doubles of it. So I'm going to put, so once I've done the doubles, I'm just going to put that into, you know, thing. I might make it now because I did have, lunch no i had breakfast around about nine eight or nine Whew. eight or nine and i'm still working still getting this work on still getting my work on people getting my work on i'm not having holes every month i am doing i ain't gonna get some holes so like like i won't be getting anything like holes or nothing like that i don't know how to explain it i really don't it's going to be some uh, going to be very weird so I just have to say happy birthday to someone. Hope, hope you have a hope you have a great day. Yeah, it's happy birthday to him. Oh, one of the people I hate. I actually don't like. I actually physically hate a member of this person. They're not. That it's just my. I don't hate him. I just dislike. Okay, hate's a strong word. I dislike him. It's because he's always getting in the. Um, every every even if my sister and me had an argument, I'm not going to argue with my sister because there's no fucking point. I mean. I've grown up and she hasn't, I've moved on, um, she always, my sister, one of my sisters always holding to the past and it was, that was me like two to three years ago, I held on to things, I really did, I held on to a lot of things and one day, I used to hold on to things, okay, in the past, I used to, one of them things that never let go, I used to hold on to it, it's one of the guys that used to hold on to things in the past that I never used to let go of. I never used to let go of that because I thought, why not? I just hold on to it. But I did that like two to three years ago and just held on to the past. Now, uh, no, two to three, no. But, uh, in 2012, there we go, I held on to things in the past like from... Uh, used to, in 2012, I held them to things in the past. I always used to do that before 2012. I always used to do that just because I don't know. I just used to do that, and then suddenly, in 2000, at the end of 2012, or at the end of 2012, beginning roughly between 2012 to 2014, I started talking to my husband, and my husband was saying to me. Don't hold things in the past is no point, and I just learned not to hold things in the past anymore. It's just not worth it. There are so much more things that you could be doing with your life. See if it's one of these people that are stuck in the past and don't want to let go of things, let go of them because it's no point. You cannot turn back time. You cannot do anything. Just let go of the past and move forward. And I've done that, and I'm happy now. I'm literally happy that I I don't do that anymore, because when you do that, it will just it just ruined it just ruined everything that I was trying to do. It just ruined me, and I didn't like it. And now I don't hold on to the past. One of my sisters, one of my sisters, uh, like my mum, they held on to the past, and they don't let go of things. And I have said to my sister, listen, I don't want to argue more. I said I will keep in touch, send her a birthday or whatever. But I said. You get, I'm gonna get on with my life and everything. And she goes, okay, well, happy, I'm happy for you. You get on with your life. And I'm not close to my sister anymore. I was. It's nice to have to some places with her, but now at the end of the day, it won't happen because she is really, really stubborn, which I hate. So I've got one of my other sisters, and we get along. We talk. It's fine. I go around, then we talk, and we have and we have fun. You know, I talk by myself to her. I talk everything like that. And I get on now with my other sister than I did when I was younger. And I know my other sister is not, is going to be, she's not going to let go of it or nothing like that. It's just, I know what she's like. It's just something that I've, I've come to n known. Sorry, just, just something, something's not right. Okay. I've just come to know that she's never going to get over something. She won't get over it. I've just... I've just accepted that. I've accepted that she won't get get over anything. She won't let the uh, get on with the past. 
I she doesn't want any relationship with me. I've come to terms with that right now, and I've come to terms with her, her and her husband kind of in the past, uh, sending me message and bullying, and her husband sent me a message and literally sent me the harshest message, and I still have that message to this day, and. It wasn't his business. He shouldn't have get, got involved. And I'm not going to read your message because it is kind of personal. And it was a harsh message that kind of my uh, says he says something to my granddad. Now my, he doesn't know my grand my granddad never liked him. Every time when I used to go around there, I mean he liked my husband. My husband Daniel he liked him. We would go into the house, my nan's house, when everyone was out, and basically um, sit down. And talk and me and him used to have he used to go into the front room he normally goes to the dining room he used to go into the front room or go outside or we used to go into the dining room and we used to have full-on talks with my granddad while no one else is in my nan and my mum was in the room my sister tyler he still went in there have a conversation as soon as my as soon as my other sister walked in with her husband and her kids he walked out of that room and was like yeah i'm going in the room now and I went in there, I said, you're right, Granny. He goes, yeah, yeah, I'm right, I just don't want to be in there at the minute. I said, okay. He goes, you can, in. he said, you and Dan can come in here and chat. And one day we actually did chat to him in the dining room. And it was fun, we enjoyed it. And I miss my grand, and my grand's not alive. He died in 2014 on the 20th of September. And it, that is the one of the hardest things. And he said something about my grand, and I, I just didn't like it. And he said something to my sister as well, and she hasn't liked it what he's done and he butts into people's business when it's not his business yes he's married my sister but it's not his business i wouldn't if my if i had a if me one of my sisters had a gun at me i would never let my husband get involved it would be between us i've never go yeah get involved i would never do that it's something that i have would never do i've never got any my husband hasn't got involved in any of my business now if someone hurts me and someone ends up hitting me he will stand up and get involved he will, but if it's just two sisters arguing, he will not get involved. He, I care about my family so much that I won't let my sister get involved. It's just like that. I, I don't want. I just don't want him to get him to get involved because it's not his place, and he respects that. And he doesn't want to get involved because it's you know he goes he goes. He, my husband said to me, "Your sisters, you guys fight. Me and my brother, we fight. You don't want to get involved." I said, "No, no, I wouldn't get involved in his family if he was fighting with his family. If they were hitting him, yeah, I would get involved because I don't want my husband to get hurt. And yes, I will see my husband uh, get upset. And like he saw me get upset and really, I'm an emotional person and I do get upset. I really do. I'm such an emotional person, and a person that I do get upset and it really does hurt me when when people say stuff about me that are not true. I'm like." okay but he doesn't like me seeing get upset but i always say just don't get involved because it's not worth it so i tend to i don't reach out to her anymore i only say happy after her i say hi she comes in and that's it but i never start arguments when i'm in this house with her i never do i'm not the same person when i was younger i was a horrible child when i was younger I used to fight I used to have arguments with my family. I wasn't very nice. And since I met my husband, I'm very calmer. I am much more quieter. I, When I was very, very young, I was quiet. I was quite a shy kid when I was at school. I'm like that now. I'm very quiet and shy. When I, meet new, when I meet new people, I'm very closed and shy. And people think I'm a bitch. I'm not. I'm just very shy. And with my subscribers, someone goes if you met a subscriber would you be shy I said no 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 I think of my subscribers as family and friends that's how I think of you guys you are my family friends and I care about you if you ever see me in the street and want to say hello you're more than welcome to come and say hello I really don't mind um you want to take a picture of me I don't care I really don't mind you want to do that I really don't mind you're more than welcome to come up to me and say hello I watch your channel and because you know I don't mind and you can take a picture of me or, or anything like that. I really don't mind because you're my subscribers and I love to connect with you, you know, and go with, and to do everything. And I say this on my main channel, on my main channel as well. And yeah, but if you do have anything like any, if you always keep, if you if you never let go of the past, you'll never move forward. And I have, I've moved on quite a lot. I know if my family members watch this go, you who haven't changed. They don't know me. My mum has no idea who I am. 
or my family doesn't know me. I haven't lived in my hometown for about four, about three to four years, I think. I haven't lived back there since then. And the last time I lived in Bratner was 2012. And at the end of 2012, I moved in with my husband. That was it. That is what I did. And I, um, and I never looked back because it was a good thing that I did it and it was a great thing. Am I close with my family? No, I'm not. And do I wish I was? A little bit, I do. But I know that, I know that I'm, it's gonna be good whatever I do. It's gonna be really good. And as long as I have support from them, I will support them, my family all the way, but if I support them then that's fine. If they don't support me then I can't do nothing much about it. And you know, it's something that you have to move on from and you have to be like, right, okay, this is what you need to do and this is how, you know, it's just stuff like that. And you need to make sure that it's going to be okay. Yeah, if you have anything that you can't let go, let go of it. Because there's no point of kind of, you know, not letting go of it. You have to and you have to move on. And that's what I'm doing right now, I'm moving on. Sorry, my eyes really itchy for some reason. Mm. Eyes really itchy for some reason. I'm going on. Oh god, I've got lots of things. Clear, just clear it. Just clear it. Just clear it. Just clear it. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Just clear it. Do, 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 do. What did you do? Did you just clear it? So, yeah, just want to get on with some work. See if I can do anything. Oh, this is great. It's great. But, no, yeah. So, yeah, uh, back to my main point. If you have anything that you hold onto in, that's in the past, just let go of it and you'll feel a lot better. Off. My video is just not, I don't know what's happening. I just, it's taken forever now. It's just taken forever. Which I hate it taking fucking forever. So, I'm going to see what. what I don't know why this stick brother. Okay, I'm going to delete that one. This is not going that well. So I'm going to sit down and probably watch some friends, but it is like 11.41, so I'm going to make some dinner. No, I'm going to make some lunch, fuck it. I'm going to make some lunch. I don't care, I'm making lunch. I actually don't care. I'm going to make some lunch. And you, they're like rats.